Guys, I'm back for another AFI video in my 100 film challenge, which is slowly winding down. I should have all these films watched by the end of this month. And today, kicked off with The Sound of Music. It's number 55 on the all-time list. When they revised the list, it went up to number 40. It's directed by Robert Wise. It came out March 2nd, 1965. Clocking in at 174 minutes. Stars Julie Andrews, Christopher Plummer, and a couple other actors that John or fans know. Nicholas Hammond, who was one of the Von Trapps, would play Spider-Man in the 70s series. And Angela Cartwright, who had had a lot of other roles, would end up being in Lost in Space. Uh, the, family, the film focuses on a governess, or a nun, who uh, goes to become a governess at a uh, Von Trapp home. Uh, the mother has passed on goes to help with the seven children all along why she brings life back into the home and having to deal with the Nazis. It's a good movie. You know, I'm not a big musical fan. I've been very open about it. This is the last one on my list to watch that is a musical. But it's it's good. It's got memorable songs uh, like The Sound of Music, uh, uh, My Favorite Things, uh, So Long Farewell. I mean, there's, a, there's a lot of you know really good music in the song. This wasn't bad. This this one, I will say, kept my attention. Uh, it was a, one of the biggest box office smashes of all time. Budget of $8.2 million. Worldwide, it made $286 million. It was the highest grossing film of 1965. And this was the film that surpassed Gone with the Wind as the highest grossing film. And it would sit there for five years. It won five Academy Awards. Best Picture, Director, Film Editing, Score, and Sound. And actually stayed in theaters for four and a half years. Now think about that. Today, films are gone within a couple of months. You know, they've left the theater and they're gone. This movie stayed in theaters for four and a half years. Yeah, it's a different time, but four and a half years. It, was, no, it wasn't just beloved here. This was beloved around the world. People love this movie. This movie is really... Um, was incredibly popular. The soundtrack is also one of the best-selling movie soundtracks of all time, and it sold over 20 million copies. It's been 109 weeks in Billboard's top, uh, the top ten, oh, top ten, ten, if I'm not mistaken. But it's been and it was there for a little bit over 200 weeks in, in the in the top hot 100 charts, and it's been reissued many, many times. And you know, again, it's very popular. So you got. A great musical, a good cast, um, great songs, and it, and for a three-hour film or almost three-hour film, it flies by. I, I think it the the pacing was really well done. I didn't have any problem with it at all. Um, now again, I don't have a lot of draw to a lot of musicals because I don't know how often I would watch it. But, you know, I, I might revisit this somewhere down the road. But all right, guys, that's all I got for this one. Another movie knocked off the list. Take care. I'll link the trailer below. And as always, go watch a movie.